I mean, it's everywhere. Ugh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god, that is terrible. Alright, so that last video we did snuff. Right? If you come into this one, we're going to do a little bit something different, but I'm not a fan of it. Grizzly snooze. Snooze, snus, snooze, snus, snus, snooze. Okay. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have a new can, but they did change the bear on the Grizzly cans, which is stupid. You shouldn't have done that. I mean, if, if someone from Grizzly or American Snuff Co. was watching this video, we want the bear back. We don't like this new bear because this new bear looks it looks puny. All you see is the face. We want the actual bear. This was probably like the last product that they made. I don't even think the new snooze cans have that new style bear on them. This is the last of the bear. Hot damn because these cans came out. And not long after that they changed it. And they might have done it at this, at this time. But we still get the old bear. That's oh my god, this taste is still. Uh, washing your mouth out with beer is not great either, but snooze. Don't dip. Don't pouch Zen. Don't, please don't. Zen is so stupid. The last four packs. Is it really true that you can just swallow this shit and it don't bother you? Because Camel, I'm pretty sure, was like the first to like actually do this. And then Zen picked up and then that other company, and then, <clears throat> 15 no-spit tobacco pouches, so if it does say no-spit, I'm still gonna spit that, that shit is not going in my stomach, so Grizzly has, I'm pretty sure it's straight mint and wintergreen, Zen has wintergreen, but I think they're the only company that does the wintergreen. I'm not sure. Don't quote me to that. I don't do snooze. This is not. This is golfer shit. This is something that a businessman or something who says, yeah, I like dipping. And then they dip this. And they get out of their Prius. Or the Honda Ridgeline. Oh my god, I can't stand pouches. You know what's funny? To date it all back, Camel Snooze was the very first tobacco that I did. And then I bought Grizzly Wintergreen pouches. And then I went from there and did Skull, Mint, and Peach. But I was buying the extra mint and the extra peach at the time when it was available. I don't think you can get any of the extras anymore. But that's what I, that's how it started. Camel snooze. It might have been the mint or whatever. I can't remember. The grizzly wintergreen pouches. To the mint, peach. And then the grizzly wintergreen actual long cut. Snooze. Snooze is, you know, Swedish tobacco style. It's in these little tea bags. I know it's pretty gross that I just did that, but this is what it is. It's just a little tea bag. 
really different from the actual pouches because I think the actual pouches have like bigger like seat holes where the shit can get through. Like Outlaw says, the upper decker. That probably gets you. Oh my god, that burns. I really don't know what to say about snooze. I'm not a snooze guy. I, I, my co worker at work, or technically, when we go to different jobs, it depends on who's higher up in the company that that is their job. So that's technically your boss at the time. So his he was the boss at the time, even though I'm older than him and I got more years of experience. I got 10 years on my belt going on 11. He probably has four or five. Anyway, I'm not bitching. I don't want to move up in the ladder. I'm done. I don't want to do paperwork, control, or run in the job. I don't want that. I just want to get in the tractor, cut slope, cut grade, cut curb. Dozer, blade, anything you need. I just don't want that position. My wife gets mad at me. She says, you can move up. You can blah, blah, blah. I just, I don't want that stress. I want someone else to deal with that. I want to go in. Tired of laying pipe, though. That was my main profession, was a ditch man. I've done that for 10 years. I'm done. I don't want to run the ditch anymore. Oh, when you put it in up a deck, up a deck, it uh, it's more potent. Wow. Anyway, back to what I was saying. He, all he dips is in, and I ran out of tobacco one day, and I was like, "Hey, man, you got anything?" He's like, "I got some Zen wintergreen." So, all right. I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to dip snooze is in the top lip. That shit's kicking. I'm definitely spitting that shit. <laughs> I got about 5 in, 4 or 5 in. Like I said, there's not much to say that Grizzly Grizzly's keeping up, if not leading the game. But I've always been the American Snuff Co. guy. Pretty good. Good job, guys. So we gotta pick up mint and straight if that's actual the right cans. All I know is there's a red can, a blue can, and a green can. So far the green can was winter green, so I'm just I'm Going ahead and assuming that the other two are what they are. Gotta keep the can though. I gotta start my collection again, but what sucks is this <laughs> a lot of my collection gone that they don't make no more. Like the 2015 Copenhagen Black cans. Yeah, I'm not, I had a whole bunch of those. And I'm not gonna get those again. Hope Whiskey. Not gonna get that again. I still have all the, no I don't, I don't have any of the Grizzly Wintergreen can from back then. So Snooze is really good, it's just that sweet taste to it, that aftertaste. I mean you get tobacco right off the bat but that sweet taste, it's almost like tea. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Maybe it's just grizzly. I don't know. I don't even know if Camel does their thing anymore. Speaking of that, I haven't seen Camel snooze in a long time. I had cinnamon. Oops. I'm pretty sure it was cinnamon. It was a red can. You think Copenhagen's gonna do it? I don't know. I don't think Copenhagen's going to do it. 
Copenhagen is more of a Western type feel to it, but they also don't like you doing videos about their product. But in the next video that you see, fuck them. That was gross. Every bit of that seeped out. Ugh. So, if you find a snooze, pick it up. If you want to stop, like, to, like, dipping or smoking or whatever, I guess that's, like, an easy alternative. Besides the coffee tobacco or pouches. Those suck. The Java dips. Don't just stop dipping totally. Or the no nicotine dips. I know Outlaw has a few of those non-nicotine shit. Just stop. <laughs> if you're going to quit, just quit. Walk away. I know it's hard, but... Get your family to tie you down on a chair and don't go anywhere for two days. <laughs> I gotta spit this out. Anyway, on a snooze level, a 7 out of 10. On a tobacco dipping level... Fucking four. I don't like this. Ugh. One. Two. Three. Four. Gross. Ugh.